As the countdown begins, the anticipation builds. 10, 9, 8. Let's set the stage, folks. We're about to embark on a thrilling journey through Santa Clara, a city that's more than silicon chips and tech startups. We've got a list, a top 10 countdown of the most exciting things to do in this vibrant city, from hidden gems to well-trodden paths, from mouth-watering eats to adrenaline-filled experiences. We've got it all. Seven, six, five. Are you ready to explore the best of Santa Clara? Four, three, two, one. Kicking off our countdown at number 10 is the Santa Clara University. This isn't just any university, folks. Santa Clara University, steeped in history and tradition, is the oldest institution of higher learning in California. Established in the 1850s, this university is a shining beacon of the Jesuit values of education and service. But it's not all about hitting the books. The campus itself is a sight to behold with its lush greenery, historic architecture, and the iconic Mission Santa Clara de Asis at its heart, it's an oasis of tranquility amidst the hustle and bustle of Silicon Valley. And if you're a sports fan, you're in luck. Santa Clara Broncos, the university's athletic teams, are known to put up a good show. So why not catch a game while you're at it? Whether you're a student or not, Santa Clara University is a must visit. And that, my friends, is just the beginning of our journey. Let's move on to number nine. Moving on to number 9, we have the Intel Museum. Nestled in the heart of Silicon Valley, this gem is a sanctuary for tech lovers worldwide. Imagine walking through the annals of tech history, surrounded by exhibits that narrate the evolution of microprocessors. It's like stepping into a time machine but without the risk of paradoxes. The Intel Museum isn't just a museum, it's a testament to the human spirit, the relentless pursuit of knowledge, and the power of innovation. It's a showcase of how a tiny silicon chip can transform the world. And let's not forget the role of Intel in shaping Silicon Valley's history. From its inception in the late 60s to its rise as a tech titan, Intel's journey is a fascinating saga of triumphs, trials, and tenacity. So if you're a tech enthusiast, make sure to stop by the Intel Museum. It's not just a trip, it's a pilgrimage for the digitally devout. At number eight, we have the stunning Mission Santa Clara de Asis. Now this isn't just any old mission, it's a living testament to California's early history. Founded way back in 1777, it's the eighth oldest mission in the state. The architecture is a sight to behold. With its arched corridors, ornate altar and bell tower, it's a slice of Spanish colonial history right in the heart of Silicon Valley. You can almost hear the whispers of the past echoing through its hallowed halls. And it's not all about the past. The mission is still a functioning part of Santa Clara University, adding a dash of academia to its historical charm. So, whether you're a history buff, architecture enthusiast, or just someone in need of a peaceful retreat, this place has something for you. For a serene and historical experience, don't miss Mission Santa Clara de Asis. Lucky number seven brings us to the Triton Museum of Art. This gem in the heart of Santa Clara is a haven for art enthusiasts. The museum houses a diverse collection of art spanning from traditional to contemporary and everything in between. Now you might ask, what if I'm not really into staring at paintings all day? Well my friend, the Triton Museum is not just about static exhibits, they host a variety of events and workshops throughout the year. You might find yourself learning the basics of pottery, attending a photography workshop, or even getting your hands dirty in a charcoal drawing class. And let's not forget, admission to the museum is absolutely free. Yes, you heard me right, free. So, whether you're an art aficionado or just someone looking for a cool way to spend an afternoon, the Triton Museum of Art offers a unique experience that's sure to stimulate your senses. For a taste of local art, the Triton Museum is a must. Moving on to number six, we've got the California's Great America. Nestled in the heart of Santa Clara, this amusement park is a veritable playground for thrill-seekers and fun-lovers alike. Imagine whirling through the air on gravity-defying roller coasters making a splash at the Boomerang Bay Water Park or getting spooked at the Halloween Haunt. There's something for everyone here, whether you're a family looking for a memorable day out, a group of friends seeking adrenaline-pumping rides, or a couple yearning for a romantic Ferris wheel ride under the starlit sky. Not to mention, the park hosts a variety of events throughout the year, from summer concerts to winter holiday celebrations. And hey, don't forget to try the funnel cake. It's a sweet, crispy delight that's as much a part of the Great America experience as the rides themselves. For a day filled with excitement and fun, California's Great America is the place. 
Cracking into the top five, it's time to explore the Levi's Stadium. Not just a football field, folks, but a monument to the spirit of innovation that defines Santa Clara. This colossal structure is the home turf of the San Francisco 49 ERs, and it's got a lot more than goalposts and bleachers. Imagine a stadium with a green roof, solar panels, and a farm-to-table program. That's right, Levi's Stadium is an eco-friendly marvel that marries the thrill of sports with the commitment to sustainability. And trust me, whether you're a die-hard Niners fan or a casual observer, catching a game here is an electrifying experience. But it's not just about game days. The stadium offers tours that take you behind the scenes, into the locker rooms, and even down to the field level. You'll learn about the history, the architecture, and the many events hosted here. For football fans and architecture enthusiasts alike, Levi's Stadium is a must-see. At number 4 we have the Santa Clara Farmer's Market. This is no ordinary grocery run, folks. Picture rows upon rows of vibrant fresh produce straight from the fields and orchards of Santa Clara, but it's not just a fruit and veggie paradise. The market also features a cornucopia of local goods. From artisanal cheeses to freshly baked bread, from hand-poured candles to handcrafted jewelry, it's a veritable treasure trove of local talent. And don't even get me started on the food stalls. If food is the language of love, then the farmer's market is a sonnet. Whether you're craving some authentic tacos, a gourmet grilled cheese, or a delectable dessert, there's a food stall here that's got your taste buds covered. But the best part, every dollar you spend goes back into the local community. You get to enjoy the flavors of Santa Clara while supporting its farmers and artisans. For a taste of Santa Clara's local produce, make sure to visit the farmer's market. We're down to the top three. At number three, we have the Central Park. This is not just any park, folks. It's a haven for relaxation and recreation right in the heart of Santa Clara. The park boasts a plethora of facilities, including a lake, picnic areas, sports fields, and even a swim center. But that's not all. Central Park is also home to a variety of events throughout the year, from summer concerts to art and wine festivals, making every visit a unique experience. And nestled within its leafy embrace is the Central Park Library, a treasure trove of knowledge and a perfect place to unwind with a good book. Whether you're in the mood for a leisurely stroll, a family picnic, or just a quiet afternoon with your favorite novel, Central Park offers it all. For a day of relaxation and leisure, Central Park is your go-to spot. Just missing the top spot at number two, we have the Winchester Mystery House. This architectural wonder is the stuff of legends. Born from the eccentric mind of Sarah Winchester, it's a house that oozes quirkiness from every corner. Imagine, if you will, a mansion with over 160 rooms, stairs leading to nowhere, secret passageways, and doors opening into thin air. It's like stepping into a real-life funhouse only with a Victorian-era twist. The house's intriguing history is equally captivating. Legend has it that Sarah built this labyrinthine mansion to confuse the spirits of those taken by the Winchester Rifles, her family's source of wealth. Whether you believe in the supernatural or not, the story adds an irresistible allure to this peculiar place. To truly appreciate its unique charm, I highly recommend taking a guided tour. You'll get to explore the maze-like mansion while hearing fascinating tales about its creation. For a touch of mystery and history, the Winchester Mystery House is a must. And finally, at number one, we have the delectable culinary scene of Santa Clara. A city where food is an art form and the chefs are the artists. From the high-end restaurants serving exquisite Californian cuisine to the food trucks that offer a taste of the world on wheels, Santa Clara's food scene is as diverse as it is delicious. Have a taste for something exotic? Try the authentic Vietnamese pho or the spicy Korean barbecue. If you're a fan of comfort food, indulge in some classic American burgers or Mexican tacos. For those with a sweet tooth, there's a multitude of bakeries serving everything from French pastries to traditional Mexican desserts. But let's not forget the local specialties. The California burrito, the Santa Clara clam chowder, and of course, the locally brewed craft beers. Each bite, each sip, tells a story of the city's rich cultural heritage and culinary creativity. For foodies, Santa Clara's culinary scene is a paradise you can't afford to miss. And there you have it, the top 10 things to do in Santa Clara. From the awe-inspiring history at the Mission Santa Clara de Asis, to the mouth-watering delights at our top-rated eateries, there's an adventure waiting at every corner. Don't forget to check out the vibrant nightlife and scenic parks. 
We hope you enjoyed this journey with us. If you did, remember to give this video a like, subscribe, and share with your fellow travel bugs. Until next time, keep exploring and making memories. Goodbye.